Hi there. Welcome to Jeannie's Guitar Class. I'm Jeannie Carter, and today I'm going to show you how to make the F chord. So grab your guitar and let's get started. First, make sure your guitar is in tune and is tuned to standard 440 tuning. As a reminder, the fingers are counted like this. First, second, third, and fourth. The strings are counted this way. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. In the chord diagram, the vertical lines represent the strings of the guitar and the horizontal lines represent the frets of the guitar. If you don't know how to read a chord diagram, make sure to watch my Jenny's Guitar Class YouTube video on how to read a chord diagram for more in-depth instruction. Since the F chord is a bit more difficult to make, this will be the only guitar chord we will work with in this lesson. The F chord diagram shown on the screen shows the first finger barring across both the first and second strings on the first fret. The second finger is located on the third string, second fret, and the third finger is on the fourth string, third fret. The X's show that the fifth and sixth strings are not strummed as part of the F chord. First, I want to demonstrate how to place your first finger across both the first and second strings so you can get better sound. When you place your finger or fingers across more than one string at a time, this is called barring those strings. Notice how my first finger is pointed toward the first fret and is at an angle across both the first and second strings. It will be easier for you to make the F chord if you come at those strings in this way. If you try to keep your first finger straight up and down next to the fret, it will be more difficult for you to get good sound from these strings because your hand pressure or hand strength will be weaker if you try to cover the first and second strings this way. After you've covered the first and second strings, then we will add the second finger on the third string, second fret, like this. Then place the third finger on the fourth string, third fret, like this. Place your pick on top of the fourth string and strum down like this. Okay, let's try the F chord together. Place your first finger with the fingernail portion pointing at and close to the first fret on the second string and let the joint part of the first finger press down on the first string, first fret, closer to the nut of the guitar. Once you have your first finger in place, add the second finger to the third string, second fret. Notice how my second finger is also at an angle. Now place the third finger on the fourth string, third fret. This finger is also turned at an angle. As best as you can at this point, try to put enough steady pressure on the strings to make the chord ring out. Now place your pick on top of the fourth string and strum down like this. If you have a lot of dead sound at this point, don't worry. It will take quite a bit of practice to get this F chord sounding as it should. When you practice, pick out each string of the F chord to make sure each string is ringing out. If you find a dead string, adjust your finger until you can get it to ring out or at least sound better.
by picking out each string, this will help you see where the problem areas are, and you can begin to adjust your finger position and pressure until you can get the cord to ring out as it should. I have to confess that when I was trying to learn the F chord, this is the chord that almost made me stop playing guitar because I thought I never was going to get it to sound right. But I am living proof that you can overcome this and you can learn to make the F chord with ease. It just takes perseverance, patience, and lots of practice. So don't give up on the F chord. It is a very important chord to learn because it is part of your basic guitar chords. Imagine how accomplished you'll feel when you actually do get the F chord to sound right and to ring out like it should. That will be a major milestone accomplishment as far as your guitar learning goes. Once you master it, go out and celebrate somehow. As I've said in other Jenny's Guitar Class videos, as a beginner, and especially since this may be your first experience with placing one finger across more than one string at a time, you are going to get sore fingers, and you may even develop blisters. If you do start to develop blisters, give yourself a couple of days rest and allow your fingers to heal before practicing again. Once those calluses or tough skin develop, it won't hurt so bad. Okay, this concludes our lesson on the F chord. Don't worry if you can't get every string to sound perfect because the F chord is more difficult to master than some of the other chords. Just continue working on and improving the sound and smoothness of those chords. Try to practice your guitar at least 30 minutes every day, and you will be playing smoothly and accurately before you know it. All right, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you'd like to see more of Jenny's Guitar Class videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if this video has helped you in some way. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.